Well, we have begun the session. Okay. A noble task it is, is to train young minds to embark on the journey called life. And a nobler privilege is to lead those entrusted with this task to perform their duty. The annual conference of the ASISC is a reminder of this very privilege, and it is an honor to welcome all the delegates, the educational leaders, to the <coughs> annual general meeting of this august body today. Today morning, Dr. Shashi Tharoor talked of the four E's of education, the first one being expansion. Well, I couldn't help thinking that ASISC membership is testimony <laughs> to this very expansion. Our strength is increasing as schools are multiplying and education leaders are being made aware of their responsibility of initiating quality educational endeavors to promote holistic development. We'll be having the annual report presented by our National Secretary, Mr. Vincent, and this will reveal that we have done a wonderful job in developing the potential of the students of our schools in literary, extramural, and the sports arena. In fact, our recent recognition by the Apex Sports Body of India, the Sports Authority of India, SAI, is an acknowledgement of our high standard. Contributing to Digital India, ASISC has developed a comprehensive website with online payment, registration, and publications to bring in more transparency, efficiency, and professionalism into our functioning. The annual conference has become the most sought after event in our calendar, and this organization has become a logistic challenge, which we, I think, have faced with a firm. It's gratifying to see the high attendance in the morning, the quality of the presentations, and the level of interaction among the delegates. For example, this year's theme raises questions on what promotes happiness. How can we institute practices to ensure that happiness is both the journey and the destination, the road and the resting place? Let us hope we learn how to spread positivity in a world of cynicism, relaxation in the atmosphere of stress, and create an ambience of joy to promote a culture of delight and bliss. On a personal note, it has been an enriching experience to have been part of the ASISC executive body, which is spearheading the changes and challenges of the modern educational scenario in the country. I wish to express my gratitude to the executive body team, consisting of the 11 regional secretaries, our national secretary, Madam Vice Presidents, and all my fellow principals here for their cooperation and enthusiastic participation in all the activities. Before handing over the rest of the precedent proceedings to our national secretary, Mr. K.V. Vincent, to carry us forward, let me just reiterate, one student in our schools is the future of the nation. One child in the classroom is someone's entire world. One boy or one girl is the center of someone's existence. Friends, let ASISC help to usher in a new era of comfort safety, security, and joy, to give that one child, that one boy or one girl, and each child in our school the best experience of growing up. Thank you.